Welcome to Talking Beards, an entertainment news podcast all about the facial hair lifestyle and the people who use their beards and mustaches to help change the world. Join your hosts, World Goatee Champion Aaron D. Johnston and two-time National Goatee Champion Scott Sakura as they talk about all the important issues in the community from charity events, competition news, styling tips, breaking news, and much more. Tune in every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern as we stream live on all social media platforms as well as TalkingBeards.com and answer all of your questions. Join in our chat room and be a part of the show each week as we give away great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. I am your host, Aaron D. Johnston, and I am Scott Sakura, and we are Talking Beards. Oh, hey, everybody. We're back. We are back. This is it. The yeah. Andrew Matson cannot wait to watch this brand new show for the first brand time. Brand new, never uh never rehearsed before show called Talking Beards. Uh what's up everybody? My name's Aaron D. Johnston and uh I'm going to be on this side of the screen and I've got a Christmas hat on. It's Christmas time. Gary Faulkner is here. I know. We he, freaking made it. We we Look did. This. Mr. Bengals himself is here. Who day he says, because that's what you know the Bengals say. I know without without a doubt, every Sunday there is a new fun picture of Gary. I love it. I, I know I had awesome. my my chiropractor sent me a a picture from she was watching one of the games on TV and uh, she paused it and she sent me a video. She's like. Please tell me you know this guy. I was like, I do. I actually do know that guy. And I said, I have an autograph eight by 10. Pro- we have multiple autograph eight by tens of Gary the Roof Faulkner in, in the house. So we're, we're, we're pretty well said over here. I, I'm thinking about going ahead and just paying my house off with, you know, eBay and a couple of those bad boys and moving on. Anyway, what's up, Scott Sakura? That's now how you start the show, Aaron. Sorry, I don't know. I don't, you start the show. I don't remember how you do. You go, hello, it's me. I did that part. Oh, you did do that part. I did. All right. So everyone, (laughs) welcome to talking beards. Uh, thank you for tuning in tonight. Uh, and pardon our, uh, step away from the past, uh, month of, uh, doing the show. We'll, we'll, we'll go over that as the show begins and everything. But, uh, uh, if you guys want to check the show out, you can go to talkingbeards.com. If you want to participate in the chat room, like all these people are, as you see popping up on the screen, you have to either go to our Facebook page, our YouTube page, or our parent X page. That was new. Yeah. The last time we were here. So last time um, we were on Twitter, but not anymore. Now we're on X, baby. Yeah. I don't think anybody three times. That's triple. No one's watching us on X right now. So, you know. No one so, ever watches on Twitter anyways. Nope. But hey, we can see now though. So Elon gave us the the ability to actually see that no one's watching us on Twitter. It came with our Starlink uh subscription. Oh my gosh. We're we're so popular. Anyway. <laughs> oh. Gary Faulkner, Starlink subscription. Look at this. X, Barefoot Josh Barefoot Brains. Brains. We got wow. All the people, man. I know this is, this is nice. I mean, maybe we need to take a month off every so often to get people to watch again. You know, beard zone is here. What's up beard zone. That's me. That's you. Oh, here. This is the best part. I was going to be like, Phil bearding on a budget. He, he commented like an hour before the show started. He was ready for us. He's on a budget. What is, is bearding on a budget? Is this a, a YouTube page? Tell us. Explain. Tell us to bearding us. on a budget. Tell us, and we'll talk about it. Yeah, I think uh, there, Alan D. Eckert. What's up, buddy? All the people. All he's, the he, people. He, he's but healing yeah, up we, good. Chicken bread. Christopher Wilson. Beard zone. But anyway, yeah. So we're back, Scott. We're here. Uh, <laughs> we're. We might do a 30 minute episode tonight. Who knows? We might do 14 hours of an episode. We've uh we've got more people watching the show than we've had in a long time. And uh it's good to see everybody, but we're back. We're we're here. We have absolutely no plans. We don't have a guest. We don't have anything. We're just knocking the rust off. We're going to knock the rust off. 
Look at that. That's, yeah. So you want you want to tell everybody where that hat came from? That no. that's a good thing. No. Come on. No, I don't. Okay. okay. So this hat is from You don't even remember? Harry Holidays. Number we, part two. We were there together. That's where we took this picture right here. December second. Leslie took that picture of us. She did. She did and uh, yeah. So this was uh, a nice uh, first place finish for me. First place. Wow. So I got my cowboy hat. So I got two, two. Harry holidays one and two. I got two first places. So did you win first to the first one? Yeah. Wow. I suck. I. D- I competed at the first one, I think. This it, was this was last year's. Yeah, I got one in boots. Das boot. That's a first place boot? No way. That's a second place boot. Oh, it is silver. So yeah. So yeah. I guess it was. I got one last year. That's good. So yeah. I, I'll have I'll put this here. So but I didn't even remember being at that event this year. We we briefly talked about that before the show. It was a little bit of a mess <laughs> but yes, I, was, I was there and i'm sure that's why a lot of people are actually tuned in tonight because they want to get an update on what's going on man but update the the last month and a half of my life has been a complete and utter blur yeah here we go okay so look at like, it's like we and we're, we're twins. We got boots and hats on. Boots, boots and, hats. and hats and boots and hats. Boots and hats. <clears throat> What's in there? Chicken There's nuggets. Stuff in there. There's stuff in that boot still. <laughs> but yeah, uh, apparently we did an episode after nationals. We we learned this a little bit a little bit ago, um, and so that's the last time you saw us. We did a special 84 Wednesday, years. eighty four years ago. We did a special uh, Wednesday night episode of Talking Beards. Uh, we recapped and we talked about nationals and we showed all these cool pictures. Oh my gosh. I remember so well that yeah. was so in focus that remember that time you lost. Oh, I do. I do right here. This is oh. me losing <laughs> right, right there. Don't mean to laugh. <laughs> oh, well, but, uh, yeah, don't even really remember that episode happening. It's, uh, it's been really crazy over here and you know, you've, you've followed the, the chronicles of Natalie and we've, we've got, the, the little Natalie train update and man, we could just go on and on about how, how that, that whole thing has been, but don't really want to like super get into all of it. But, uh, yeah, man, it's been pretty, pretty awful. I'm going to just say that it's been pretty, pretty awful. Um, I, my, my biggest update that I will say is today is probably the best day that both of us have had since the beginning of November and it both happened on the same day and uh, the same day we're going to do a talking beards episode. So that's pretty good because last Tuesday sucked and I would have just sat here and been all doomy and gloomy, but not today. Oh no, Scott Sakura. Not I today. know I've been like, I was being serenaded with purple rain and she was watching TikToks earlier. And I, I, I was singing like, I almost, a little bit and, when I heard her Man. in the background when we were getting ready, I was like, "Oh my god, she sounds like really good." And I'm like, "I'm we're, we usually talk to each other uh, as we're getting ready." And she said she sounded like so good, like not what I was expecting, you know, because you know, I usually hear her in the background when she's like on the couch, and but she was like real present and like just very energetic and just singing, cool. and it made made my heart smile. Twenty four hours ago, completely different story. <laughs> like it yeah man 24 hours ago her her heart was beating at like 110 beats a minute and she was just sitting here and she was like sweating and and just completely panicked about what was happening and then we finally went to sleep and she you know kind of slept last night and she she took a couple naps today and lo and behold she's Somewhat human today. So Where did she take those naps to? She took a couple naps. Where? Right there. Right oh. there. She took them right there on the couch. <laughs> Where we've both been living for a little over a month now. What was the last movie you watched today? The last movie we watched today? 
I, we didn't even watch a movie today. I got up this morning and I did normal morning routine stuff. I ate my eggs and drank my tea and and did all the things. I I did beard things today. I wow. sent emails about competitions. I talked to more than one person on the phone about different competitions. I made plans today for stuff. I sent out packages today. I I did things today. It felt really nice and uh yeah it was good it was it was overall an extremely good day but yeah same same thing for natalie i mean obviously she's she's still got a long road to go this is just a a good bump in the road is a smooth part right here but you know tomorrow tomorrow could be completely different could and be a bunch of potholes which we don't tomorrow know. could be a bunch of potholes but not today man it was it was today was a very good day i did things she's done things she she watched TikToks and sang before the show. And, I did things. Yeah. But yeah, man. I don't know. You have any specific questions that you you want to know the answers to about the last month and a half instead of just rambling? Well, yeah, I guess if anyone has questions, post them in there. We'll Yeah, there you we'll, go. We can we'll pose them to Natalie. I can I can answer some questions if you have specific things because like we said everybody's kind of been following along on on facebook and stuff we natalie went into the hospital and and i was with her and you. you know it's 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 been an adventure since right after nationals <laughs> yeah it, i really felt like a lot of stuff just kind of all just kind of that was like a domino th- of events for lots of different people like i know f- different family members of mine and um other people going in for surgeries and stuff at the same time. So it's just been, you know, going into the holidays, it's always a hectic, crazy, busy time. And then Mm -hmm. throw all that stuff into the mix of your, you know, everyday life. It's, it's tough, man. Sometimes it's, it's tough to deal with it. And it's, it's been awful. It's been really tough. Um, like I said earlier, um, I, I feel like the last month and, a week or whatever is just melted away. Like, I can't believe it's already the, the end of December. The last super vivid, solid memory I have is, is like being in Daytona before, right after nationals. And that was like, what, like the fifth or sixth, seventh, eighth, somewhere in there of November. And it's the 19th of December. So yeah. (laughs) Uh, Robert Mevick. I don't think we've got a card from you, my friend. Um, we'll keep an eye out and you know, the mail is running slow cause it's Christmas and all that, but I don't, I don't believe we we've got a hat from you, a hat, a card. Oh, this chick said, welcome back. Nice hats. Go ahead. Breaking news. My what breaking news. What? You oh, broke. my chair still sucks. It keeps oh. going down. I don't know if everyone keeps noticing. I keep putting myself back up. So I think what for the last year we've been asking for the Talking Beards fans to help buy Scott a new office chair. One day, man. One It'll day you will get a new day. chair. Alan D. Eckert says he's he's feeling good and uh he's going back to work in the new year. So we're glad you're you're doing good, Alan. You're up moving around and you're you're ready to go back to work. That's really good. Yeah. I know that kind of surgery, uh I mean, as with Natalie, it's always the same surgery. So um very intrusive on the body and a lot of recovery time tons of recovery time i think she's had three procedures in the last what i don't know since the beginning of november i don't even know but yeah three procedures in a month is uh been pretty rough on her mentally and physically and i think the the mental aspect of it's going to be the the longer road probably but she'll get there so Natalie wants me to do the hand analogy thing. I'm supposed to, I need to work that in because she really liked it as well. So we'll ask about your hands. How are your hands doing, Scott Sakura? Oh, me? Uh, yeah. Oh, this is good. I can totally make a fist really good right? with this hand, which is amazing. So that one's working pretty good. I think if I, right there, oh, there it is. Oh. It's locked. It's locked. Okay, so your hand's still in pain. So no, this is, I mean, it's not. It doesn't hurt. It's just locking. It's just locked. It's so well, my for fingers. sake of conversation, your hand still hurts. 
And uh, my hand still hurts. Yeah, your hand still hurts. So this is the analogy that I gave you on the phone the other day, and Natalie really liked it. So put it like this for Natalie. So say you're Natalie, and you're like, all right, I've got these hands that hurt. I'm going to go to the hospital, and we're going to do the surgery, and we're going to cut your hand off, and it's going to fix your hand. And that sounds like a fun. I that sounds perfect. Let's do it, Aaron. Perfect. Let's try it. And then they're like, surgery didn't work. They put your hand back on, and you have your original pain, and now your wrist hurts. That's kind of what Natalie's going through right now, a little bit. Because they cut my hand off. Well, they they yes. And I still have my bunk hand. You still have your bunk hand, exactly. So yeah, so that's what what they did with her. They they uh, she was getting a new kidney. And, but she, and the kidney was good. Everything was, it was fine. Nothing on Allen. And for some reason, her body rejected it and they pulled it back out. And, uh, she still got that, that bum kidney in there, giving her the pains, but she was still going to have that bum kidney, but there was a, uh, there was an end in, in sight for her to not have that kidney. But Hey man, you never know. We'll see, see what time brings and, and, what happens at this all Robert that Mavic stuff. also has the same thing. So look at, he's, he's a key he dope. He goes to the shot therapy hmm. and, uh, he also go, is maybe looking at, at surgery, but so you and Robert Mavic are the same person. Look at that. Robert Mavic with a mustache is just freaking weird. I'm yeah, glad we, that we were talking about there. this picture earlier. So remember that time he was with Cher, Robert Mavic and Cher are best friends. Brad Felipe, El Taco Gonzalez, we got your Christmas card yesterday. Oh, we appreciate you. Do you want to do beard mail right now? We can open it. Brad, can I do it? Do you do you have a Brad card? Yeah, it just came today. Go get it. Well, this is awkward. I don't know what else to talk about. Let's see what's going on. Brad says yes, the best. Mustache is king. Uh, what comments? Let's see. Here we go. Brad. All right, everyone. So if you get lucky enough to get on the Brad Paternick Christmas mailing list, you call it, consider yourself lucky. He sends out only six of these. Six six cards. That's it. That's it. Aaron Nora! got one. I got one. Okay. I'm, I'm opening it. And they're always a delight. There's Natalie. Okay. Look at her. She's standing. There she is. Here it is. All I want for Xmas is not you, a UFO. That's that's exactly for you because you can love then, UFOs. So this is what I got for him for Christmas. A book all about UFOs. So you're gonna get it. So then we open it. Hope your holiday season is out of this world. This is great. Look at Bradley. He looks like a cow. They're all cowboys. I'm a cowboy too. You are a cowboy. Look at your hat. He didn't even sign it. Oh, what a jerk. He just sent it. He was like, this is good enough. Yeah. That's- wow. He signed ours. That's what Natalie <laughs> said. <laughs> Hold on. Ugh. Oh, your chair. Corey chair. loves your face. I know. Dre hey. said hello. Tanya Shield said hello. Wait, get Natalie Cam back up and running. But you can see my face. We've got a Natalie Cam. I'll I'll put it on her. What are you doing? She's put, put, she's, oh, putting, she's 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 getting ready to get on camera again. No, nah, she's she's digging Brad's card out of the, the card box. Out of the garbage? That's not very the nice. Card box. Oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> she's digging it out of the trash we're like yeah merry christmas brad it's very difficult to uh crumble this one this is i love this card though it's a solid card i mean i will say dang did we delete it out of here from i well, from last year yeah the last year's one was oh, good every year every year his card last year's was amazing it was amazing so what else is going on? What's what's going on in your world, Scott Sakura? Work, 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 it's work. Working your your butt off. You still on that big project on the man lifts? And- <clears throat> yep, I think week ten now. But yeah, it's just been 
uh, exhausting. Like it is like physically exhausting and m- mentally just destroying me. So you've pretty well been on a man lift every day, huh? For yeah. like a month. Yeah. Yesterday I was on, uh, I went on a new one. Well, it was actually a really old one, but it's a, a one thirty five, which are the big pretty ones. Sizable. Yeah. It's, yeah. I, I was will say every time I see a, a JLG or a man lift in the wild, I think about you now and I just laugh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there's Scott. He's probably going to drive that. Speaking of Scott, we have uh, our big time radio guy, Scott Miller, here. Scott our good Miller. friend from Chicago. What, what's the worst Christmas present you ever got, Scott Sakura? What about you, Scott Miller? What's the worst yeah. present you ever got? Obviously, you have one on deck or you wouldn't ask that question. What's up, Jerry? Kyle Waller can't wait to see us on, on March 3rd. How about second? Oh, whatever. <laughs> March 2nd. I just saw a three. Anyway, that was that's what that was about. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's what I read, too. But, yeah, as I read it, too, it says, can't wait to see all three of you in March. I just saw three in March. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, wow, that was weird how my eyes, like, eliminated words, too, out of that. And I saw weird. something completely different. Worst mm. Christmas gift. Worst Christmas gift. Why? Why? Way to throw a crazy question at us. Here we go. I know. Scott I'm... Miller says, clothes from Kohl's that never had a chance to fit, but they thought, they bought it just so that I had something, which is nice, but right. <laughs> I will say the worst Christmas that I can remember as a child. I think I was like eighth grade and I started dressing crazy and wearing like corn t-shirts and jinkos and stuff like that. And uh my parents got me a button up the front shirt a, with a tie and a belt and some khaki pants and and a shaving kit. And that was, that's what I got for Christmas that year. <laughs> wow. That's amazing that you remember that. It it stood out to me pretty, pretty much. Cause I was like, is this a joke? It was not, it was not in fact a joke. That was what they, uh, what they, you know, gave me for Christmas. I probably can tell you easier what my favorite one was. No, go ahead. What was your favorite <clears throat> uh, Christmas gifts? So the year Let's paint the picture. Paint the picture. The year was 1979. God, you're freaking old. I Were know. you in like high school then or? I was four years old. And Christmas morning under the tree as the this young Scott comes down the stairs in his footy pajamas, probably with Winnie the Poohs on there. Probably. Probably. And underneath the Christmas tree was the Star Wars Death Star playset. Oh, that was pretty good. That. Yeah, that was by far like, I mean, that that's why I always say Star Wars was like everything to me growing up. It was like it was in every like major memory of mine. And that's why mm-hmm. it, it's. It just plays such a huge part in my life because it's that just makes sense. everywhere. But yeah, that's probably my, my, I, I could easily say that that's my favorite gift that I remember ever getting. My, my Star Wars as a child was NASCAR. <laughs> what's, Every, what's that? It was just everything was NASCAR. That's, that's what mattered to me. Like you, you cared about Star Wars and like Star Wars has this very, you know, important role in your life. I, I did not have that connection with star Wars. I had that connection with NASCARs. It said, you said roll NASCARs roll, roll tide, roll tide, January 1st, baby. Roll, roll tide. Ha ha. Reebok pumps. I always wanted a pair of those. I never got a pair. I think I did have a pair of Reebok pumps. It was like, the last year's version that no one bought, but it was, I still got some. That's a, that's the only way I ever got cool shoes. It'd be like the rejects from last, last year's season. Ooh, Aaron's got a girlfriend. <laughs> that's my, that's Natalie's sister. What's up, Brianna? <laughs> like I knew that. Well, now, you know, here we go. Let's see what else is going on. Uh, 
Oof. Best gift. Coming in hot right now. Lots There's all kinds. Scott Turner says he, uh, he's putting on an event January 6th. I don't know if you knew that. You see us. Anything about that? Uh, let's see. Didn't you have a thing? I got this. Yeah. Yeah. So coming up this, uh, when is it? January 6th at the Mayday Brewery at 5 p.m. Central Time. Uh, Beard Mob Tennessee will be putting on Beards for Autism. So that's happening. That's pretty good. The first event of the year. First oh, event of the year. First event of the year. My 1963, I got a Red Rider pedal fire truck. Stupid, Stupid Alabama. Alabama. Shut up, Ian. Georgia lost. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, hey. Hey, Jeff Harris. We Jeff are- Harris did a, a remarkable episode of Shape the Podcast. Uh, you can find that on... I think it's on the Talk of Beards YouTube, but it's definitely over on the, the Shape Podcast Facebook page. Go go check that out and learn everything there is to know about Jeff Harris. Shannon's like, I got a brand new bike one year, and my sister's boyfriend ran it over a month later and replaced it with... With what? A crappy piece of junk with a banana seat. You probably love the banana seat more. Don't lie. You're just riding around on that big comfy seat. <clears throat> See, now they're close. Now they're worth a grand. You probably <laughs> threw it away, chicken bread. Just said, yeah. Wow. Carrie Lynn. What's up, Carrie Lynn? I don't know. There's what like, is up? What is up? There's all kinds of people in the in the chat. It, so many people. Isn't it still NASCAR? Yes. And Kyle Waller. And Scott Sakura's is still Star Wars. Yeah. See how those things get ingrained in your brain. Because I was never really a Star Wars fan until I got with Natalie. And now you've got I all the Star Wars kinda. tattoos. I, I like more about Star Wars now than I did 15 years ago. For sure. 100%. Because there's more droids now. <laughs> and Chopper kills people. So that's super exciting. <laughs> <laughs> If you go back and listen to episode 48 of the Beardcaster or the Talking Beards podcast uh, where you interviewed me, I just said that I like Baby Yoda. No, I like BB-8. That's why I said Baby Yoda didn't exist yet. My bad. I was I grew up in a Star Trek household. See, Jacob has a... Oh, my Lord. I'm so sorry. Uh, worst year was his grandma bought him a meatloaf bat out of hell cassette instead of the ACDC. And made me listen to it every time I was in the car. And your grandma's pretty bad. Host would do anything for love. He would. Look at this. Look at this loser. I'm not into Star wow, Wars. Wow. What a loser. Everybody cool loves Star Wars now. Right? Yeah. I've never seen any of the Star Wars. Yeah, Shut up. That's what we were really. talking about. <laughs> here we go. Best comment of the day. Oh, right here. I was pulling for Bama during the SEC championship, and that makes you feel any better, Aaron. Adam Smalley is a giant uh, Auburn fan, and Auburn and Alabama hate each other. It was Roll funny. Tide. Roll Tide. <clears throat> what game was it? Was it? It was uh, Alabama and who? It was Alabama and somebody <clears throat> in the last month. Adam Smalley called us during like the whole last quarter, and he was in the police station off duty, and they were watching the Alabama game. It was hilarious. It was the best time ever. And then he may have allegedly pulled someone over at right afterwards, and we got the watch. Maybe alleged. It was the Iron Bowl. It was the Iron Bowl. That's right, because they beat Auburn. That's what it was. See, I can't remember. Like I said last month, total blur. Allegedly, it was an ostrich. It was an ostrich, for sure. Star Trek, Star Wars, same thing, Chicken Bread says. Wow. It should be like a ban. Stupid Alabama. Stupid. Was everybody saying stupid Alabama? Oh, it's just Ian. He doesn't count. Yeah, he doesn't count. Dude, Panda Bread. Where the heck is everybody watching? All right, Brad. Uh, We've got someone watching on Twitter. (laughs) No. Yes. A Twitter person, say something. Um, a lot of people are watching on my page, Brad, and uh, a lot of people are watching on the Talking Beards YouTube. That's pretty much the the locations people are watching right now. But 
What's up, Randall Thomas? What's up, Randall Thomas? Did I put other pictures in here? Oh, we got this one too. Beer competition. This is this is what I did today. I talked to these guys for a little bit in Sevierville, Tennessee. The, Sevierville? Uh, yeah, the sixth anniversary of the Smoky Mountain Bearded Villains uh, Beard Contest and Charity Event. Uh, it's going to be at the Iron Forge Brewing Company, number 310. It's uh, it's right there in Sevierville, right next to uh, there's like a Hollywood Wax Museum and the Titanic exhibit and all that where it's like you come rolling into town and all these massive structures it's right in there somewhere so that'll be pretty good do you see that aaron letters to kenny's coming out letters to kenny are coming out i thought i season, thought it already happened season 12 it is the last oh. season thank gosh i know because now they they've oh, brought they in shorzy and ooh. i can't wait are they finally Shorzy? gonna play the the basketball go on, game go on hulu and no they're now it's all hockey now oh they're they're in the hockey these days yeah so yeah if you guys got hulu make sure you guys go check out shorzy speaking of uh canada oh jeremy's here from alaska no that's not <laughs> yeah canada. it's canada's like earmuff yeah canada's earmuff mike baker says the candlestick maker Star Wars rule. That's right. Pitter patter. Who let Felipe in the chat? Who let Felipe in the chat? What? Oh yeah. Jeremy, send me the information. You you told me information, but I don't Jeremy, send it to him. Yeah. Text it to me so I can get it on there. Yeah. We need to get you on the calendar. Need to get <clears> you on the calendar. Everybody wants to go to Alaska for a beard competition, so we need to have it on the calendar so everyone knows about it. Yeah, just email TalkingBeards1 at Gmail if you have something you want to get on to the beard calendar. The beard calendar, or, you know, the beard calendar has a little bubble window thing over there, or you can send me a thing or Scott a thing. You know, just get it over there. Somewhere. Yeah, if it gets to one of us, it'll make its way there. We'll just have to dig through all the trash at talkingbeards1 at gmail.com to, to actually find it. But sometimes there's actual emails in there, but most I, of the time, it's no, just it's complete 10,000 garbage. garbage. It is so crazy how much garbage goes into that email. Robert Mavick's going to Alaska to take his Donegal back and leave it. That's where, yeah, that's where that beard belongs in Alaska. Yeah. Just <laughs> leave it there. Oh, Natalie said, oh, dang, did I put that in here? I, I would know. love, Brad, we should go on uh, an Ala a romantic Alaskan cruise. <clears throat> I think that would be fun. Everyone always asks, if you could go on a cruise, where would you go? And I'm always like, I think the Alaskan cruise would be awesome. But yes. I also, I'm like, I lived in the cold forever. So it's like, eh, I do like a tropical destination would be good too. I would like to do the Alaska cruise as well, but I'm with you. I would really, I would rather go on a warm cruise because the Alaska would be cool to like look at and stuff, but you know, then it would be just there cold. Whaler will win in Alaska. That's right. Probably. He's, he's going up there to run for governor. Oh, that's right. Shannon. Yeah. They, they went on the, uh, Alaskan cruise not that long ago. Oh yeah, how was the Alaskan cruise, chicken bread? They were eating was crab it, legs. Was it super cold, or was it pretty decent uh, temperatures? Jeremy says, "Let's do a beard cruise." There was a organized beard cruise years ago. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about it, but they were trying to do something. It's been discussed several times by lots of different groups, but no one's ever like. I don't think like really, really, really made it happen, but it's, yeah, it's, come, it's come close a few times. The I best believe. event it would be, would be worlds on a cruise ship. How amazing would that be? <clears throat> we should All start right. planning that one. Now that I got it up, Natalie wanted me to let everyone know that she appreciates everybody reaching out to her, sending her cards and supporting the GoFundMe as awkward as it was to be involved with a GoFundMe that was being directed to us. And Shannon Chicken Bread shirts as well. Um, 
all the campaigns. There, there was multiple. Um, we did turn down a few and it wasn't anything personal to anybody. It was just kind of overwhelming, especially at first, because everybody was trying to help us out all, all at once. And we were still in the hospital and, and it was, it was a lot, but this with the GoFundMe, Scott Sakura, this thing was created. Ooh, da, das Boot. It is the Natalie da Boot. But the best thing here, oh, oh. These nuts. Freaking Natalie. Aaron, your feet stink. And and we got a boot that Shannon Chicken Bread doesn't have. <laughs> yeah. What now? The collection will never be complete. <clears throat> but yeah, thank you everybody for doing that. Uh, that was from Natalie Johnston. And there you go. That was great. Chicken, bread, chicken bread, shirt. bread shirts. Uh, Logie, uh, chicken bread made shirts for the uh, Natalie Strong campaign. It's not necessarily a chicken bread shirt. There's but, a panda bread shirt. Oh, that's exactly where <laughs> I was going. You beat me to it. You go to talkingbeers.com and go to the, the merchandise store, and there is a chicken bread shirt right there. Panda bread. But yeah, that was that was cool. Everybody did that. It was uh kind of overwhelming a little bit. Not gonna lie. Anyway. Oh, oh so Logie, hey, what's up, buddy? I, I heard you say Sean Logie, and I'm like, what? Yeah. The uh, best in show from Talking Beards, the competition volume one. Yep. A hardcore Talking Beards uh OG, OG supporter and watcher always always it was always battling between him and Andrew during uh uh what is that thing when you ask trivia? questions trivia we used to do trivia remember that remember back in the day we we would have trivia questions that was pretty good <clears throat> yeah that's right it's, a, it's after 7 30 Sc- scoots usually asleep by now that is i will say two I, on Sunday night, I think I was in bed before seven, and last night I was in bed before eight. So for over the last month, what's been your average go to sleep time? Uh, do, if I make it to nine, that's impressive. Wow, we 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 did a couple eight o'clocks, but most of the time we we try to hit ten. That's always my mental plan is to hit ten o'clock, no matter like what time I need to get up. I don't know why it's just like 10 o'clock is the time that you go to bed. Is it yeah. Carolyn? Yeah. That's what like, I mean, when I was growing up, I was always, it was like eight, eight o'clock when I was little. And even when I was in high school, I was going to bed at nine. Like I would never stay up past nine. It was the weirdest thing. Like all my what friends. A nerd. Were, yeah. I like, and I then been so, your friends calling you a nerd for going to bed at nine o'clock. Probably literally never did that in school. Not once. Wow. Like if I didn't go to bed at nine, like it would like, Oh, who was it? I'm like, I don't know how people stay up to 11. Yeah, I would, I would stay up until all hours of the morning and sneak out and then come home right before mom got home and, or got up for work. And then she would always tell me that the most stressful part of her day, like my junior and senior year was waking me up for school. She yeah, I do it. remember you <laughs> saying that. Sorry, mom. Look at Natalie's here. Natalie's here. Carrie Lynn, today was a good day overall. Seeing your Stayed face is good. <laughs> Seeing your face is my good. What up? What up? What's what up, up, Johnny Morgan. Rodriguez? Traffic cone. Look at this. Cheat the man son sawmill. What is that? The Chatham. I think his name is Justin. He lives in Orlando. Oh, Orlando Justin. adjacent. His first big uh, major beer competition was nationals. And uh, yeah, he may be, he may have the bug pretty, pretty heavy with, with uh, coming to nationals. So we, we may get some, uh, Get some events coming out of this guy right here. So this is cool. Stay tuned on that one because everybody wants to go to Orlando. There's Disney and Universal mm-hmm. and uh, Legoland and SeaWorld. I was going to say Jesus World, but I think that part closed. 
Oh man. Didn't it close? Jesus Land. What was the name of that park? Jesus Land is it was, everywhere. It was, Aaron. Huh? Holy Land? Oh yeah. Sounds close. It was like a Christian themed amusement park. Oh no. I remember going to uh in Columbus, they I don't know if it's still there, and it would be funny if it was, but um not the uh 2024 Great American Beard Mustache event no but they had the uh the Jesus Wax Museum and I remember going to it and was just really enamored with it because it was really a different way to you know, look at the whole depiction of what happened with Christ and everything so there was a amusement park for that up there in Columbus it's the, the Jesus Wax Museum is it still there I don't know I know there's like in Southern Ohio or Northern, I think it's Northern Kentucky. There's the, they built Noah's Ark. I believe, I believe it's in Kentucky, right? It's up there by Cleveland or not Cleveland, Cincinnati somewhere. <clears throat> and desert land. And wait, where'd you desert land? No, it's D's nuts land. <laughs> but yeah, desert land, man. It was amazing. We went there. Here it is. Everyone. Bible, the Bible walk. It's still there. It's still there. And it's in Columbus. Yep. We should go plan your, they have actual artifacts from Jesus. The Ark experience has dinosaurs. This is great. Uh, That's what Corey Wilson just said. Alan Eckert said he went to the creation museum once is a real hoot. Yeah. You, I mean, these like some of these, like it's in Mansfield. Oh yeah, actually Mansfield. Yes. So when you guys go to, um, and the incarceration festival this coming year. Yeah, um, we will. Of course, to see Chimera, that's all you need to go. Of course. Why Um, wouldn't we? I know. But, uh, yeah, we can all go to the Bible walk. Let's go. So that's in, uh, Hey, why didn't we ever go there? We were there together. I, I totally forgot about it. Well, you should, you should put, uh, you should tell the the prison to have a beard competition there again, and then we'll all go there, and then we'll go to the the Bible walk together. Yeah, well, we could do that. That could be the pre party there. Oh, or Natalie said we could just go do a beard competition at Bible Walk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah, see, see that was pretty- a fun comp, Brad. Like my gosh, that place was. Uh, so cool. I I really wish she could. We could go back and do it again, and not do it again. But I wish we could have continued doing them i wish yeah what would we be on like probably like the eighth or ninth annual you know but look at the state of how everything's gone over the past few years like how many like original good competitions of like like that have really stuck around the the only one that's really stuck around over all the years is the austin facial hair club event and i think it's Nowhere near what it was yeah, 10 years ago. That I, thing was a party before we got involved. Now it's just, you well, know, it still exists. Yeah. And it, it's doing its thing, but it's not the party event it once was. But I don't know, man. Uh, most of the OG competitions are kind of all gone. Um, Detroit's still going. Uh, RVA isn't even doing one next year. And that's, you know, that's been the, the mid Atlantic, uh, championships for 10 years and that's it's not happening next year it's kind of it fizzled out i think they're yeah. going to do a a beard prom instead in its place so they're still going to do an event and they're still going to raise money for charity it's just going to be a different type of event that's Which, cool that's cool yeah i mean we got to evolve with the times because obviously the stuff isn't going to be i mean i feel like when we've or at least when i first got involved like already over 10 years ago Um, there were a lot of like small bar, it actually feels like kind of how it is right now. Like a lot of like small bars with like little comps. Well, I was wrong. Sorry. What? It's still competition. It's just prom themed. My bad. Way to go, Aaron, for spreading this information. Way to go. We're on Twitter for the first time. We're on X for the first night and you're spreading this information. We're banned. We're banned already. Yeah. Gosh. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry. Um, no, but anyways, it it seemed like over a decade ago there were a lot of small little competitions, and there were a lot of like 
a big organized clubs that threw also like big events mm-hmm. and over the past 10 years, obviously and COVID, I think COVID really helped kind of put a nail into it, but those That's competitions just aren't around anymore. And they're just, it's gone back to the, the smaller like mom and pop kind of things. And instead of it being an event with like 450, 500 people, it's like, you know, hundred, 150, you know, with anywhere from like 45 to 60 competitors compared to, you know, two, 300 competitors that were, you know, on a regular basis at all these events. Well, COVID's good and over. So maybe, maybe we'll, we'll start seeing an uptick in the next couple of years with beard competitions. And that's, that's why Kyle Waller says you should just do a tattoo convention with a beard competition at the same time. Is that what you should do, Kyle Waller? That's what Kyle Waller's going to do. And he's going to make it happen. And then Brad's talking about porn and, I don't know, man. Yeah, I think they're. I, I I'm I hoping. I agree. I think so too. And and now we're we're going to look different because ten years ago they were just straight up parties. Now they're charity fundraisers with a beer competition. So well, it's because it, we all kind of grew yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody grew up and had kids and stuff, and they're like, "Well, we still want to do this." And so now we need to make it fan, family friendly. Has led to the creation of some pretty uh, tight knit beard families, and I agree with that. I mean, we've we've had a. Uh, several people stopping over at our house over the, over the last month. And, and that definitely wouldn't happen if it wasn't for bearding. So. Yeah. Jacob says, uh, right now he's glad there are online comps during the holidays. It makes it easy for those that are saving to travel. And that's, and that's a newer thing too, not just due to COVID COVID created online beard competitions. Yeah. And COVID, yeah. COVID created a lot of online stuff, but the thing is, is I would have thought that it kind of would have, fizzled out but it kind of did make this like little niche like thing that we can do online for like you know quick little things here and there little fundraisers or just for you know like your uh your the honest amish did for a no shave november <clears throat> yeah i think that's the sixth one that we've done and that has no financial anything we're not backing any charities or anything we're just doing that for complete and utter fun. And it is, it it was, it was a good time. Yeah. So what else? It's it's just, I guess the little banner's gone. There was the, uh, here it is. This one, this one happened. The blue beard challenge that, that we sponsored and we'll be sending out products to the winners very soon, but it was for zero prostate cancer and it was an online beer competition. Yeah. And Jacob toast won best in show. Look at him. Good good job, Toast. Detroit will Get never toast. be family friendly. And that's totally awesome. And that's totally fine. And that's your guys' choice. I, I love it. Because adults need to have fun without kids. And that involves wieners being out on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Wiener dogs. Wiener dogs. Ma'am. Great comps. That's what they do. They ma'am. touch the front of their hat and they go, ma'am. Ma'am. That's what Santa does. He's like. Ma'am, with that, <clears throat> we're dumb. We're, we we're running out of steam, Scott Sakura. Yeah, but we, we did an episode tonight. I know we did. And we still, I mean, we could. I, she's 10 minutes left. 10 more minutes. Do you want to do a, uh, since we still have a lot of people here, do you want to do an impromptu Christmas giveaway? Go for it. What do you, uh, let's see. You think about what we're going to do and I'll get the thing going. We'll do that? hashtag. Yeah. Hashtag. Hash, what? Well, hashtag. Uh, <clears throat> Xmas. Xmas. My giveaway thing disappeared. Oh, no. We'll make it happen, though. Is it not on there? Do they not have it anymore? Oh, it will be. Um, way more for trivia. We we can't do an impromptu trivia. That would be, yeah, impossible. What uh? What's the hashtag? What are we gonna do? Hashtag Xmas. Xmas. Just for you, Brad Felipe El Taco Gonzalez. Yeah. So everyone, right now, hashtag 
They're already on it. There's 10 entries. Xmas, and you will get entered into when? What are we going to give away tonight? What are you going to, what, what, what can you <clears throat> give I, away? I, whatever. Whoever wins, I can send them whatever Honest Amish products they, they want. How about that? My gosh, this is great. Let's see. I, I gotta remember I how to do things. <laughs> I know we are extremely rusty tonight. Golly, where is it at? There it is. There it is. I can did it. <laughs> I could did it. I could did it. And don't forget I to was share. Like straight up brain fart. And I'm like, how do I get this thing on the screen? Okay, we got 22 entries. People, come on, we get get some more. There's all like 40 of up, you in here right now. Tim was just sitting in the background, being all silent. What's up, buddy? But There's yeah, like forty of you in here right now. We only have twenty-two entries, so we'll we'll give this uh, we uh, seven more minutes, and we'll we'll come back to it. So, Alan Eckert, hashtag your did it. What a John! Oh, here we go. Hashtag D's nuts. It's actually a different drawing, uh, Brad or John Abraham, but John Abraham, what a doofus. We do have the winning for uh, the uh, <laughs> that drawing. So, what are you guys doing for Christmas? What are we doing for Christmas? Um, we've I think we we have a friend coming over right before Christmas and right after Christmas and maybe on Christmas Day. So we we might have three or four people at this house, I believe. Maybe. I don't know. I know we've got some people coming. Um, And then after the first of the year, uh, one of our guests are leaving. And I think we're going to go to Owensboro. Um, So Natalie can see her family and stuff. And uh, she may or may not go to the Nashville competition with me. But Nashville is only like an hour and a half from Owensboro. So I think we're going to go to Owensboro, stay there, and uh, I'm going to go to uh, this competition of uh, Scott Turner's right here. I'm going to go to that, and I may or may not have Natalie with me. Who knows? But I think uh, our main family Christmas stuff is going to be... Roasting vegetables. Roasting vegetables with Alan D. Eckert. Yep, that's that's pretty much it. But yeah, we're... <laughs> Andrew's gonna just show to, show up to fall down again. Yeah, did did we tell that story? <laughs> uh, no, I've heard it though. It's pretty yeah. and actually you did tell it on I feel like you told it on something. I don't remember. We uh we're gonna tell it on the show, Andrew. Um so when we were sitting in the, the hospital room and the guy came in and gave us the super bad news about Natalie's kidney, Andrew was in there and and he he passed out. He, that's, that's how, you know, devastating the news was in all, in all seriousness. And, uh, yeah, so now we've, we've been giving him crap cause you know, he fell down and stuff and we, uh, we actually, Natalie went back in for another procedure a week or so ago and out of the whole hospital, they put her in the exact same room and all the nurses came in there and was like, how is this even possible? But I sure did. I was sitting in the chair that Andrew was sitting in. And I started filming and I went outside to the don't fall down sign, the fall hazard sign. And I sent him that video because that's what he did. Should have drew a beard on the little guy that was on the fall hazard thing. I should have. Andrew. And then, yeah. And then our very last appointment at the clinic, the doctor, the surgeon came in and he actually asked how, how our friend was doing. (laughs) <laughs> falling down i was like you know what he's doing a lot better now but now we now we just get to give him shit for falling down this is as good so I, as we kind of uh talked a little bit before the show about because we we're on this whole thing of 20 come on people more hashtag more. xmas um anyways we we're talking about um uh the kidney transplants and all that stuff and uh, we wanted to mention oh, yeah. as we had done an online competition. Uh, how long ago was this one? It's uh, did we do ago. it in oh, May? Yeah. I think we did it in May. Josh Druin, he uh, he got a match. I believe it. It came from his uh, his role playing Renaissance uh, community. So he he also not only does he have the beer community, he also has the Renaissance. Uh, like reenactment community over there. And I think that's where his kidney came from. I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty cool. So 
good luck, Joshua, with your your upcoming surgery. Yeah, and then uh, Paul Hendricks, who also is having kidney issues too, is uh, what is he? Did he get on a list? What was it? On his book, yeah, I believe he got on the list. So he's still he's he's in the process of finding him a match. So if you want to give uh, Paul Hendricks a uh, kidney, you know, hit him up and get the information and stuff. Yeah, Paul E. Hendricks. I don't know why I did this book. What an idiot. It was not where I thought it was. <laughs> Author, Paul Hendricks. Paul E. Hendricks. Wake, Wake up. up. Have you read it? Oh, yeah. Cover to cover, man. It's so good. Uh, I just really love the first part when it's like, <laughs> then again, maybe it's it's already there, you know? It's, it's, yeah, that was my favorite part, too. That was the best part. I know? always quote that when someone's like, you know, what, what kind of words of wisdom? Aloha. Yeah. Welcome to Wake Up. The Enlightenment of an American Misfit and Outlaw. I mean, lines like that is why you should all go out and buy this book because it's just a really good read. And Paul wrote it. It's <laughs> full of good words. Goodness. <laughs> He's the good I didn't read no damn book. <laughs> what the hell? Do you even know how to read? Is the big question. Uh, barely. All right. Let's do our. Uh, oh, well, we'll do our our, uh, our little wind-ups that we always do at the end of the show because yeah. we want everyone to remember that, of course, as usual, Honest Amish, there oh, are yeah. there are people. We didn't talk about them at the beginning. Um, but it's too late for you guys to go uh, order something for Christmas. Or Not going to make it by Christmas, yeah. probably. But uh, if you want a New Year's gift for someone, um, don't forget Boxing Day. Go on Boxing Day yeah. and uh, just go to honestamish.com and enter promo code Talking Beards, and you'll get 15% off your order. Free shipping, $35 or more domestically. Domestically. And, mm-hmm. and? thebeardcalendar.com. If you guys want to know what's going on in the beard world, this is where you got to go to find out where the, all the competitions are at all the charity competitions that is uh, if you have a event you want to submit, you can do so there uh, as Aaron's going to pull up the beard calendar. Cause do we have something to show someone? No, I just put it on that screen. So it wasn't white. Oh, that was all. Okay. So yeah, beardcalendar.com. The beard beard calendar. The okay. beardcalendar.com. But yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Whoever wins this tonight, you you just hit me up, give me your address, and just let me know what you want. I can send you a whole kit. I can send you some soaps, some oils, some balms. I can send you all of the above. Doesn't matter. I've got some t-shirts. I will send you a t-shirt. I can for sure do that. I'll load it up. I'm, I'm sending out all the No Shave November uh, contest winnings. So, you know, I'm Running UPS every day right now, so it's super easy. I'll just make a package and get Paul's it. Paul's book, I do not know if it comes in Audible. Probably not. John Abraham says, Trogdor the Burninator. That is the you wrong hashtag. to him too? I did, because uh, he once asked me about what that tattoo was on my leg, and I tried to explain it to him, and then I was like, <laughs> here it is. This is Trogdor right here. So, there it is. Okay. A mustache. All right, this is the last one. Hashtag Xmas. We're getting ready to draw. In the count of five. One, two, three, four, four point five, four point three eight six two, five. Draw. There we go. We're drawing. I hope I win. You are in there. I know. Ah! Congratulations! I finally, God, you know, I finally oh, win. Let's yeah, we'll we'll draw again. How about we do it again? <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> he was quick with that one. Tim Seeger, look at that! Congratulations, Tim. Uh, hit me up. Send me your address and and let me know what you want, and I'll uh I'll send you a care package. Thank you to Honest Amish for providing such great products for us to give away on the show. 
Yeah, so just go over to uh, honestamish.com, check out what we have over there, and let Aaron know what you want, and he will get it out to you. There you go. Congratulations, Tim. You can, uh, you know, use it on both of your beards. Maybe, maybe you can like grow a goatee with it or something. It'd be a lot better, probably. Well, that's it. We did a show tonight, Scott Sakura. I really yeah. did not expect for it to go an entire hour. I was thinking maybe thirty minutes, and we would just kind of hem haul around, and you know, ma'am, we did it. We we had a we had a good show. We, we definitely did need this, and uh, man, we did it. We did. Danielle, Danielle's here. What's up? Chop squad. Um, we might do an episode next week. We'll see. It's uh the day after Christmas, so we'll kind of evaluate it over the weekend, and and maybe we'll have Scott and or Billy Turner on to talk about their event, just to kind of get back into the the swing of things, or maybe we'll do something completely different. Who knows? But everybody, go to Nashville if we don't do an event or a show next week. Uh, go go check out Beards for Autism. Check it out, and then uh, the weekend right after that. There's a villains event in uh, Sevierville. So back-to-back weekends, Tennessee beer competitions be a lot of fun. I'll, I'll see you at both of them. And uh, that's it. Anything else? No. Nope. Uh, thank you everyone for uh, coming and watching us and hanging out with us tonight. Thank you for your patience. And uh, over the past month of us not being here, um, this is good medicine for both of us. So we appreciate you all for Absolutely. coming tonight and showing up and having. It was nice having everyone here. It was, it was a nice full house. It was man. We had a bunch of people in here tonight. It was cool. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but yeah, look at that. See summer. She caught my hat. Thanks. And the whole thing, I should have had it on the whole time. Cause it, it lights up and everything, but once again, thank you everyone for checking out the show. Uh, go over and follow us on YouTube. Go over and follow us on. There's Natalie. Natalie's here. Look at that. Um, <laughs> go follow us on Facebook. Go follow us on X. X. <laughs> yeah. So do do all that, or go to talkingbeards.com. And uh, thank you everyone. Have a good holiday. Be safe. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, be careful out there. We love you and we can't wait to see you guys in the new year. All the words. Scott Sakura did it all. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. If we don't do a show next week, and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and, and all the things. Boxing everybody, Day. Boxing Day for all you England and Canada people. We'll be putting up our boxes and decorating them or whatever you do on Boxing Day. We we love everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for still supporting us, even though we've been MIA, but we're we're back, baby. We're back, pretty much. 2024, year of the goatee. Everybody, have a great night. And, uh, roll Tide. Thanks for tuning in to Talking Beards. Make sure you go over to honestamish.com and use promo code TALKINGBEARDS to get 15% off your order. Don't forget to tune in live next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern at talkingbeards.com.